let's do a few more bash specific things and then we'll get into the actual script. So normally when you run a command like ls, ls might be a bad example, we'll find out in a sec. Normally when you run a command like ls, what actually happens when you type in a command and hit enter is these commands, we call them commands, but they're programmed just like anything else. There's a folder on most computers, it's called slash bin. And in this folder are most of the programs that you can run on your command line computer. So if we actually look in this folder, ls is a command, is a program in here. You could compile your own program, stick it in this folder, and then if you type it in the command line, it will run. Not everything, though, when you're working in a shell, a lot of those things are programs. When you run them, it actually executes that program. It takes everything together, it runs the program, completion finishes. The shell also has what are called built-ins. Built-ins aren't programs like those other things are programs. Built-ins are essentially commands that the shell itself knows that it's interpreting before it even goes and runs another program. If you want to ever see the built-ins in your shell, these differ from what the programs are on the computer. If you run help, you almost always get a list of them. These are all the ones in bash. Uh, I mean, a lot of these make sense. They tend to be things that are fairly specific to what a shell does. We're going to go through a few of these that are important. I mean, things like exit are pretty obvious. They exit the shell, so on and so forth. But it's worth noting that there is something fundamentally different. When I run help, it's not going into that bin directory and finding some program called help and running that program. When I run help, bash itself is intercepting and saying, this matches something on this list. I know how to handle that directly. I don't need to go call this other program. Make sense? The time this can get you in trouble actually is with the time command. So Linux has a command called time. Uh, what time does is it basically times the execution of another command. So if I do like time ls, it took two ten thousandths of a second for me or two thousandths of a second for the ls command to execute, right? Um, the issue is if I do man time, we can read all about man and we'll see it actually has some of these advanced options. Uh, for instance, it has an option that should do, I think the dash V option does everything. Yeah. So if I do time dash V ls, I should get even more information than just what I gave you before. But you'll see what I actually get is this error dash V command not found, right? So what's going on here? The man page for time clearly says that dash V is a valid option, while it says dash dash propose is a valid option but dash b works as well, we scroll down here. So it's telling me dash b is a valid option, and yet when I try to use dash b, it just throws up an error message. That's because if we actually do help again, we can note that time is not only a program on this machine, it's also a built-in. And when I run the man page, I'm getting the man page for the program version of time, not the built-in version of time. So every now and then this happens, and when this happens, the built-in version wins. You don't always want the built-in version. Sometimes you want the original time program because it's even more featured. This is like a very basic version of the same thing. So in this case, if I want the full one, I actually have to run it. So I have to do slash bin slash time, or maybe it's slash user. Slash user. So there's actually two folders most of your programs are in. If they're not in slash bin, they're normally in slash user slash bin. Um, so if I do slash user slash bin slash time, and then I use the dash b option and I try this again, this time the b option actually works, I get all that extra information. If you actually look at the man page for time, and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it'll actually warn you about this little caveat. Somewhere in here. Yeah. See? Uses the bash shell, you need to use an explicit path, so on and so forth. So, Programs and built-ins are different things. Sometimes they conflict, the built-in wins. If you need to get around that, you need to run the entire path. Make sense?